Hi, this is Mike with Garmin. In this video, we'll show you how to update the standby NAV database with the Jeppesen NAV SD card. First, we'll ensure that the SD cards are resident in the bottom slots of the Garmin display unit. It's recommended that we always load NAV data into the standby database location. Next, we'll power on the system and we'll remove power from the MFD, PFD1, and PFD2. We'll insert our updated SD card that contains the NAV databases in PFD2's top slot. Apply power to the number two PFD. At this point, the system will prompt the user to update the standby, and the answer is yes. It's the number 12 soft key. Next, the system will prompt the user to update the active location. And the answer is no, the number 11 soft key. Once the display power is on, update is complete. You can remove power to the number two PFD. And you can remove the SD card. Repeat the previous steps for the MFD and PFD1. Once all the displays are loaded, power up the MFD, the PFD number one, the PFD number two, and GTC one and GTC two, and monitor GTC one and GTC two from the GTC's database tab located at Utilities, Setup, Avionics Status, and Database. You'll get a message sync complete in the standby navigation database. At this point, if the database is within its effective period, it will push to the active location on all of the displays and GTCs. If the sync does not occur or complete, power cycle the system. That concludes the update of the ship with Jeppesen NavData SD card.